after some time, which is not five minutes. It's nice. It's actually quite satisfying. Oh, is this like the five minute like crafts? These are so weird, like I never understand them. Five minute crafts, please don't make me. Oh my gosh. I've had that happen. Sometimes you like buy like a really cheap pair of sandals and they just break on you. Oh, that's genius. Innovative ways to make something work. You know what my solution to that problem is? A, buy more expensive flip-flops, and B, replace them. These are just like summer beach hacks. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, that's smart. That's pretty smart. Like, that's, I would do that. Okay, soothing gel, okay. And then they're probably gonna put it in the freezer. Aloe is actually really good for that kind of stuff. So I feel like this will not take five minutes though. That's not the way freezing works. Tell your roommates that it, they're aloe vera cubes. Now that's just plain old smart. That's gonna make a hot mess. Pour the aloe out and put it on. Oh no, you, you know that feeling when you can't get on your bike? Oh shoot, there goes the bike. You know how many girls don't have hair ties so they're always asking like another girl for it? Like this just doesn't work. Who has a coin on them? Where should you get the coin from? I don't see a wallet or a pocket. Just wear some, some shorts under your dress and you'll be good. Oh man, it makes it like a romper. Yeah, <laughs> that is cool. Beer box cooler. Oh, that's a cool idea. That's pretty neat right there. That might be something I might do. They were great. I mean, just easy and practical. And they're all common sense, but you just don't think of it. These five minute crafts are so clickbaity that I would never use them. So we have some more videos to show you in a second, but those are videos that come from the DIY YouTube channel, Five Minute Crafts. Yes, yes, I love it. I love those videos. I'm gonna start subscribing to that. I have seen them roasted more than I have appreciated. All of these crafts featured in this episode are summer hacks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I mean, it is the summer. It's getting hot. So yeah, I think uh, I think sometimes we may need a few of these hacks. Well, we also wanted to see if you could take on one of these crafts yourself. So we've selected one of the crafts from the videos <laughs> that we're showing you for you to recreate. Okay, that'll be fun. Let's see if it actually works though. So <laughs> for you, you are actually gonna be recreating the broken flip-flop soda can hack. Okay, <laughs> I'll do that. I have a lot of flip-flops. How does she do that so fast? Oh, that's not gonna happen. Okay, unless I cut it. See, I knew this wouldn't work because it's metal, you know? Don't try this at home. Oh, it does cut. <laughs> and then you go like this. It works. Okay. That makes sense. But you have to be careful not to cut your finger. I'm gonna let the professional stick to this. I, I think I'm done with that. <laughs> That's just not gonna work. Oh, fan, okay. That's too much work for me. <laughs> Go to the 99 cent store. I'm even going through menopause and have hot flashes, and I wouldn't do that bullshit. That's super cool. And then you could really decorate it. Oh, look, make a little fan jump. Yeah, that's nice right there. Oh, definitely could use that on the beach. Be very careful with that box cutter. Oh my gosh. I don't know why these make me so irritated, but they really clearly do. Oh, it's supposed to attract bugs or something? after some time, which is not five minutes, my point exactly. Oh no, oh no, my floaty, and I don't know how to 
to swim. That's why I got in the water so far. I, th like, this is the acting that you'd see in like 80s infomercials. You know what the problem is? You brought cheap sh to begin with, and so it broke at the seam. Was it just melting the plastic together? Oh, okay, that's, that's pretty clever, actually. I didn't know you could do that, but it makes sense. It's like a good, like, home crafts kind of thing to do, you know? Oh, okay. I feel like that would be very flimsy, like it would just come off. Unless you're, like, holding the balloon down the whole time. It's something children would enjoy. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. The kids might like that. That's fun. This is a five minute craft that you can make a couple for your kids and then they can play. Like, this is the only genuine thing I've seen in this whole video. I really love them. I, I like the fact that, you know, you're, you're reusing, recycling. A lot of times when we want something to work or we want to improve on something, we think about going to the store, spending money to buy something to make something work when there could be things at your fingertips around your house, around the kitchen. We want you to try to make the ping pong launcher. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. I'm probably gonna get frustrated, but let's do it. Make a hole at the bottom. Okay. All right. Let's see if it takes me five minutes. Take the balloon. Over the cup. Right. I'm so nervous if it doesn't work. I have failed in life. That was so sad. It worked. That was pretty fun. That's pretty cool. It's nice. It's actually quite satisfying. These cups bend very easily. So maybe if you do it with like a harder cup or something would work better, but I would just go to the dollar store and like for the same amount of money that took me to buy the cups and the balloons, like it's the same. Uh oh. Absolute, absolute. Wait, she putting it under underarms? No, that's a waste of alcohol. Okay, so you can smell like a drunk instead? Been doing that for years. Need an underwater camera? Oh, I've seen this one before. This is fun. It's just like, just don't dr drop it. Yeah, nothing bad can come of that. I mean, the photos that came out look nice. Yeah, that's interesting. I could talk to my grandchildren about that. The standard five minute craft just upbeat, fake rave music. Oh, a little cat heart. I just don't understand. You're gonna have me do this goddamn one. Oh, my daughter wanted to do that too. I'll tell her about that. Isn't that a waste of your eyeliner? Cause like, look how much is on her temporary tattoo and look how much people actually use on their eye. A pool noodle? <laughs> For a wine glass holder? <laughs> If I brought wine to a party like that, I'd lose all my friends. Oh, now that is interesting. Can we just, that wine one? I'm gonna do that. Oh my goodness. DIY toilet. Oh please, that's disgusting. Don't tell me what that is. I don't want to know that that's a pee bucket. That's a goddamn pee bucket. That's another great idea. Then you just, the bag. I feel so stupid when I watch these. It's like, I can't think of one. I just don't have that kind of brain. I love them. I love, I, I honestly could watch them all day long. Cause I really like sometimes throw some things out and I'm like, I feel so terrible. And I go, how do they get recycled? How do they get reused? But watching these, and I do watch them a lot, um, really gives you so many ideas. So for this one, we want you to try to recreate the eyeliner tattoo. Okay. I don't have my eyeliner with me, but. <laughs> 
Well, don't worry, because we got some stuff for you. Awesome. I'll do my version of a kitty. Okay, I got to get little ears and the head. A heart. And then D, I, Y. There we go. That's what I want to be seen at the pool with. La La. It's my wife's name in Hawaiian. I mean, yeah, it's still there. Should I try rubbing it to see if it comes off? Oh yeah, that did not work. That was... Easy five minute hacks. Your own temporary tattoo. It's so temporary, it only lasts until you put it in the water. <gasps> oh, it works. I'm gonna be having many more tattoos now. I can just do a temporary tattoo and then wash it away. That's great. That really works. So the YouTube channel that features these compilations is called Five Minute Crafts. So after watching all these videos and creating some of the hacks, do you think that the name is fitting for how long these take? Uh, yeah, I mean, it didn't take you a lot to, you know, to fix something and do it. I think it's perfect for how long it takes. I think it's a, it's a good concept. Probably even less than that once you know how to do it. But I mean, that didn't take more than five minutes. And it was fun. It took me like 30 seconds and then another 10 for it to be completely ruined. So I think um, an actual name for it would be like 40 second craft. No, five minute crafts should say, change their name to waste of time crafts. The only ones that aren't five minutes are literally just normal things that people do. The channel itself has a massive amount of views with over 14 billion across YouTube and mm. over 30 million followers on Instagram. Yeah, that's massive. Well, yeah, because these like, I see these videos a lot, you know, just kind of scrolling because they're like quick bites. Why do you think so many people watch this type of content? Literally have no clue. Maybe to give them ideas or something, but I, I don't know, man. Just go outside and get some ideas. Entertainment for sure. Like I know so many people who like clown these like um, hacks and like videos that they make or like they just make little jokes out of it. I watch it because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna see like what from this things that they show me like actually work for me. But you have to go through all of them because they're so fast. It can't be like sometimes you skip on a YouTube video to see something like they're just one after the other. So they make you like watch everything. A lot of times you have tools, equipment, products right in front of you. You're in a situation, circumstance, your, how to handle the situation, resolve the problem is right in front of you. It's a matter of being quiet and looking around. Finally, do you think you'll be trying any of these and searching more hacks this summer? No. I think it would be more of a hassle than a hack. I'm gonna watch this channel because I, I just am amazed at what people come up with. I'm gonna search some, especially the one with the kids making the toys and stuff. I'm gonna subscribe to the channel and I'll definitely try the hacks. I probably won't try these, but they're like fun to watch when they come up. You want me to be honest with you? No. Some of the crafts that I looked at, it wasn't really worth my while. I'm gonna keep watching them even after summer's over. Like, I'm just, I'm gonna watch them. And I hate it, because I save a lot of them and then I never do them. No, I don't. If I have a problem, I typically throw money at it. So if I have a problem with my flip-flops, I don't think, oh, let me go get a soda can and da-da-da. Absolutely not. It's a waste of time. Like, I have so many other things to do this summer instead of, like, total my thumbs and, like, get them cut. You know how many of those that use, like, X-Acto knives? I'm still a child, so I will not be using that. Thanks for watching this crafty episode of Generations React. Shout out to Roseberry. If you liked our crafts, then hit that like button. Hey, everyone. Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching watching this episode. Make sure you check out our other channel, FBE2, which is more than just behind the scenes, and you get to meet all the people that help put these episodes together. Plus, we live stream every single week. Bye, guys. See you there.